Set to kick off later this year, the South St. George Water Supply Expansion Project is funded by the Government of the United Kingdom through the United Kingdom Caribbean Infrastructure Fund. The project will be administrated by the Caribbean Development Bank and implemented by the National Water and Sewage Authority. Successful implementation of the project will lead to the improved availability of safe drinking water and enhance water resource management in the southern part of the island. The project completion date is early 2026. Mrs. Teresa Tunder jones CDB's Director of Projects, highlighted that in addition to improving the water supply infrastructure, the collaboration between the UK government, the government of Grenada and the CDB will also generate short-term job opportunities, potentially alleviating some of the economic impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. The project will increase water production capacity, provide additional drinking water storage, and upgrade transmission capacity. And essentially that means an improved quality of life for the residents of the communities. The project will benefit. <clears throat> At the end of the day, this is what's important. It's not so much the project itself, but who is going to benefit from the project. These infrastructural improvements coupled with institutional training, strengthening training and public awareness activities will facilitate better management of the water supply system and more water will be available to all project communities being served, significantly improving the situation once completed and also into the future. Mr. Victor Clark, resident British Commissioner to Grenada, emphasized the significance of the water supply expansion project for enhancing Grenada's water distribution network and increasing climate resilience within the water sector. He expressed pride in the UK contribution of 57.8 million EC dollars in grant funding for the project, predicting tangible benefits for the people of Grenada. We understand how pivotal this water supply expansion project is for expanding and upgrading Grenada's water distribution network uh, and increasing climate resilience of the water sector. Uh, and we're incredibly proud to be able to provide, uh, I think 16 million was the figure given. I think it's somewhere between 16 and 17 million. It always seems to be changing, uh, but approximately you know, just under 60 million Eastern Caribbean dollars uh, in grant funding for this particular project uh, because we think it will really deliver uh, real and tangible benefits for the people of Grenada. Grenada's Prime Minister and Minister for Infrastructure and Physical Development, Honorable Dickon Mitchell, welcomed investment in Grenada's resilience, progress and sustainability, particularly amidst climate uncertainties. And so for the obvious reasons, uh, having an adequate supply of water, a consistent supply of water and a high quality supply of water is pivotal towards meeting uh, the needs of the, the citizens of the South, the residents, the visitors, uh, and those who work in, in the area. So investing in uh, this is, is critical uh, in building the resilience, the progress, and the sustainability we need when it comes to our water resources. Um, and it's important for, for a government and for a nation, obviously, to be able to plan uh, implement and, and grapple with the challenges that small island developing states face uh, pertaining to things like water uh, scarcity, water supply, uh, minimizing wastage of water. The project is estimated to cost U.S. $20.7 million. Rina Thomas, GBN News.